been a while since I've played a little bit of Tome. So last time, I'd uh, come to this uh, fire portal with the intention of going in here for exploration, learning what it's all about, and getting some experience to go fight uh, the master. I'm only level 29, I want to try and get the level 3 to fight him, so that's why we're coming here. So do you want to travel to the fire portal? You can't know where you'll end up. Yes. So these are randomly, you know, generated maps that you don't have to go to, but when you go to them, you basically, basically, you know, you go to like just these ram zones to fight in, basically is what it's all about. Kill you. And I guess you get ram stuff too. Let's burn you. Explore a little. Oh, uh, he rushed out. A ruined banshee. So this is like the type of guy I was having difficult with um, before. The vengeful screaming go um, soul given form by the breath of your um, Eric Rock himself. The vapors of a fierce cape sleep within this dimension of bending form, withering and searing. So I gave him us a trouble before. And I actually think I'm going to, one of you is going to switch weapon. He shrugged off sound. Or I shrugged off sounds good. And for this time around, we're not going to try and, you know, mess with him too much. We're just going to go try and outright kill him. So what I'm going to do is we're going to activate perfect strike because I don't want to miss him at all he's like an invisible ghost I think so rush him and he's you know an invisible type ghost I'm cursed with the curse of death so I do want to kill him quickly uh, I'm too confused to do anything tried to cast face door I don't think you can teleport here then maybe he can't teleport um, wrong way Char charge him a little bit. I have to kill him before he kills me, right? So he's doing damage with this thing. Lots of da lots of damage. I've already used up too much of my stamina yet again, apparently. Sounds I can't cast spells. I'm free from corrosive worm. He is still on top of me, apparently. Uh, I didn't mean to use Warshot there, did I? At least I got hit there. Can I do a death blow on him? There we go, we killed it. So that's the first wound Banshee I killed. So that guy's really tough to kill. And that's just like, you know, in controlled circumstances like this. If, um... I have to fight the guy with, like, you know, all those, like, the Master's stuff around him, he's gonna be a lot more difficult. Uh, we got Wormick over here. They're really dangerous. Let this guy get closer. Spinning Spire over there. And I can breathe on them. There's two Venom Drakes to worry about here, but. Whatever. Do this. Uh, he charged me, or no, he just stepped up and hit me. Kill you. Oh, stop hitting me so much. Oh, we got a, wor a worm over here, too. He could be difficult. Let's do this. Confuse him. And there we go. We killed those guys. And we got ourselves a regular grave right up here. So, the thing about these, um, these dungeons is that you don't know where you'll end up, what you'll be fighting, or uh, you won't be able to escape right away because you know there's a bunch of stuff. I'm doing pretty well though, I think. There's an Orc Berserker. Ooh, a worm! Or a Naga Rider. Uh, do I still need a Naga Tongue? 
I guess I already got the Nagatong. Nice scales and teeth and all that. There's a trident from him. There's a banshee apparently. There's a necromancer up here. These guys are wandering up to me and dying. Hopefully I'll get some good experience here. They, the levels of these guys don't seem to be too high. Which is good, I guess. What do you just do? Rigorous Mortis. I think you're, um... Yeah, you're, um, a Necromancer. I think. Not really sure. Oh shoot, we got an Elite Berserker! That guy's a little bit more tougher than uh, what I've been fighting so far. Let's try confusing these guys. I went invisible, because he hit me so hard. Heal up a little bit. Let's try stunning him. Okay, he's dead. You're still firing for your friends, apparently. I got blinded there. Um... Hopefully I can deal with you. I don't think I need to worry about you too much. Now you're at nothing. Lair bait, what's that? I forget what this character. Oops, I'm using the wrong weapon. That's why I'm doing so little damage. I used I taking out of that um, the other weapon because I I wanted it for the accuracy boost, but I don't really need it for anything else against like you know the other stuff I'm fighting. I'm basically keeping that our weapon for the um, ability to hit like stuff that's invisible or hard to hit. An Naga. And it looks like we got a way out. Cool. So I can use the raw recall to escape here, but if I do that, it might permanently damage the fire portal is what I got. There's a multi hue Drake there. You are almost dead. You got heroism on. Plumber is still not dead. He's your daring though. Kill you. Burn these guys. This is all pretty dangerous stuff I'm fighting. I guess. It's actually not that dangerous to be honest. Ah, the Far Portal Adventures. Minotaur. Hmm. Where's the demon? There's the demon. Or we'll find any of the uh, ingredients I need from stuff in here. Finalist of Orcs, though. Burn him. Our Banshee. dead. 
All right, where's this lead? Interesting. Nothing worth keeping, I don't think, though. So this is pretty much what Far Pearls are like. I suppose I wasn't expecting too much. There's a summoner. I want to be careful of him. Because he could summon stuff. I got hexed. A Dreadmaster! Okay, Dreadmasters are de definitely dangerous. I want to kill him quickly. The thing about Dreadmasters is that they can summon other Dreads. So... He resisted. He's almost dead. So here's the Dreadmaster. It is unlife of power, almost unequaled, and a front to existence. It's very tough abuse and disrupts the flow of life, and its unearthly limbs and pure black crumble rock and wither flesh with ease. So this guy is the Dreadmaster. And he didn't summon any dreads to fight, but doesn't mean I want to give him a chance to. Oh, there he goes, he summoned a dread. I'm sure those go away either. Well, they're all dead. Dreads are annoying. Anything I can't hit is annoying. Swing at air is not fun. And I lost premonition for some reason. And that. I found out, by the way, that I should probably have some sort of regeneration item. Because if I don't, I may run out of mana when I need it. Another orc. Reducing physical and acid damage gives me maximum mana, stamina chance, and all this other stuff. I'm not sure I even need this anymore. I guess I'm keeping it for the massive corruptor. If I go around to kill him, but or try to kill him rather, I definitely need physical and acid resistance. Though I don't think all that much. Hummerhorn and a Zarin. I'm not getting a lot of experience here. I'm kind of sad about that. But as long as I get the level 3, I'm not going to complain too much. That's why I came here, right? To get the level 30. So, you know, fight the master on, like, more even terms. I don't know, I still have to fight, though. I wonder if there's, like, bosses here or something. Dread, or Dread killed itself on me. Not really interested. Armored. Nen Nurlahing. The air reeks for its noxious fumes and the ground around it decays. Interesting. Sun infusion. Ooh, I summoned an orc berserker. Death dance. Kill you. Don't know why I'm scared of an orc berserker, actually. It's a, if it's an elite, then yes, it's scary, but just a regular berserker is not scary. Um, that was... Looks like a Slopus is up here.
Oh, you're an archer? He's up there, apparently. Let's just leap away. I'm just going to heal up my infusions and wait for this guy to come. Okay, there he is. So there's the cave troll with Dreamforge and all that on. Let's confuse him. I'm on fire, apparently. Burn him a little bit. Start healing up. Rush him. Stun him. I want to keep my uh, stamina up for unstoppable soul. Let's try and hit him naturally. I had difficult hitting him, I think. Oh, he's got invasion, that's why. This is a unique. Okay, that's why it's so difficult. Still got slow and stun and all this other stuff on him. Oh, that's the way out, apparently. So you just have to fight him to get out the unique at the end of the level. Interesting. That's still not enough um, experience, though, to get out of here and be happy about it. Let's kill what I can before I leave, I guess. So yeah, the thing about far poles is that you don't have to come here, they're, they're completely optional. But... There is obviously some reason to... Oh shoot, there's a Corruptor rare. Um, let's back away. It's a Ghoul King apparently. I'm gonna heal up a little bit. Is that another exit? So if you guys don't want to get you know out, I can get out. Wow, I almost died. Stun you. I got a uh, corrupt around me. Right there. Taking lots of beating here. Let's um, play it safe. I'm gonna put on unstoppable. And I think he's about to kill me there, so probably a good idea to do it now. Um, he's got a lot of bone shields around him. I think each time I hit him, well, I might be able to kill him. This isn't cooling down for some reason. There it goes, cool down. Cute bunnies. They look so cute. Uh, do those give me health back if I kill them, I wonder? Well, let's hit him though first. Death Dance. And that actually gave me a lot of health killing all this stuff, so cool. Sort of potential futures. So there's the uh, sort of potential futures. That's actually a combination for the Temporal Warden. If you get like the dagger of the past with it, then that's like a set. That's kind of tough. Wasn't worth killing those guys. Your raw recall shakes as the portal beneath appears beneath you. So I guess because I killed the unique, there's this portal's appearing randomly all over the place. It's definitely difficult in here. Dread. I got confused. Minotaur and in our portal. Where are you, Banshee? Oh, it's like two Banshees around me. 
Not anymore. Eh, giant fire ice down near me. Another portal. Ungol Mar, largest of all spire can, it's pulls the skin, make it nigh impenetrable. So, pretty good defense on this thing. Getting a little bit more experience. Our portal. I'm not so accurate. This is where poor accuracy really gets the better of you for stuff like that, those dreads. I may actually want to go train up combat accuracy to more when I get the chance, but for now, I'm sort of happy just to sort of focus on our stuff. Like, I want to get timeless soon. I put time, put off timeless when I shouldn't have, I don't think. 7% more. Six percent more experience. Oh, apparently that's it. So let's escape. So there's the exploratory far portal done once. Where are we gonna end up? We end up in Balahad, apparently. Wonder what's in Valhad. Giants, apparently. At least I'll get to level 30 in a moment. You know, maybe I should get timeless for the master, so I might want to go up to level 31. I suppose it's a, more of a issue of how long do I want to be in the far portals to get strong enough from the master than anything else. A dream seed, a pinkish bubble floats here, as reflecting the world not as it is, but as it would be in a surreal place existing in our dream. I don't know where these things are from. I think these are being summoned, perhaps. Dream seed again. Okay, what is this? This is the dreaming horror. A vaguely tentacled yet constantly changing form rests here, apparently oblivious to your existence. With each uh, slow breath it takes, reality just starts around it. Blue twirls into red, green twists into yellow, and the air sings softly before bursting into mired of pastel shapes and colors. Interesting. Kill it. And apparently I can teleport. Well, there's a dream of horror. What's this thing do? What did it cast on me? It's constantly bringing me in here. I'm distorted for some reason. I mean, pour into a millstorm. I guess that's what it's called, millstorm. If I should die before I wake, you suddenly wake, sun, um, wake suddenly from your unexpected slumber and attempt to quickly regain your bearings. However, you are prepared for a bizarre vision that greets you instead. Instead of land and sky, you only you see only amorphous shapes and varying degrees of light. A strange sunlit haze permeates the air in outward colors and shadowy flickers in and out of your peripheral vision. As you begin to come to grips with the strange environment, you realize with horror that you can't move. Your body feels as if they're completely without weight, and you try to move, you can't bulge an inch. You experience a sense of deja vu as you recall past nightmares of you being paralyzed. That's when it strikes you. You never woke up at all. You're still asleep. This epiphany is only reinforced when you notice a strange phenomenon. Mere copies of yourself are being slowly projected from where you stand or moving about of your own volition. They all seem to focus on something in particular, but what? Just as soon as you set your mind to discern what your dream selves are focused on, you feel it. With horror, you realize that you are not alone here. Somehow, your foe has invaded your very subconscious and attacking you in your dreams. 
still unable to move. You lucid mind races on how to hell such an insane and horrible situation. On a whim, you concentrate on one of your projections and you find that you can control it. Free. Now, if to face this nightmare, you turn to fight, fight your foe. While you are sense that you're having one of your dream cells destroyed, many not by itself, by catastrophe, um, would be catastrophic. What would happen if several or many are cut down? I'm willing to find out your result if, um, yourself to end this offensive intrusion in your mind. Alright, so I guess. I have control over my dream selves. And I still have all my things, I guess. I'm not sure. Floor? Void. Okay, so this is all the floor, the stuff here. This is the dreaming horror over here. Let's start healing up, I guess. He's ravaging me. Whatever that means. Um, I'm stunned. Low health, that hurt. I can't seem to use my belt, so maybe it's, you know, I can't use my belt or other stuff. I wonder if I can use a sopple. That worked. Stun him. Uh, I'm not sure if it's going down or not. Hopefully everything's attacking him, but I'm not sure. This is, uh, this needs to get off cooldown, I think. Probably should do this. So I got pulled out of the maelstrom for some reason. Level 30! Is this the first time I got the level 30? I can't remember. I think I got to level 30 in a yeek. Anyhow, I can now do whatever I want over here. I can increase my critical strike chance or, you know, build a day stuff. That could be useful. Being able to day stuff would definitely make stuff a lot easier to handle. But being able to do bloodbath a little bit more would be awesome. This basically lets me get, like, you know, huge health boost as I score critical hits. So the more critical hits I get, the more health I get. Sort of a crush point, too. I need the critical hits to get the health. But I need this up to get the you know max out of the health. I'll eventually get both up bo on both of them. Blood rage I don't care about too much. Bump this up a little bit more. This is up to 36. I think I need 36, 38, 40, 42, 44 maybe. So we'll probably get this you know this up a little bit more. Not sure much how much cunning I'll get. So that dreaming horse out of the way. That is fun. That's something new. Fun in the far portals, all this is. Mountain Troll's dead, and we are off. This stuff is easy. So I guess um, the enemies are themed to you know, the area you enter, so sometimes we have giants and trolls and ants. Or maybe you'll get stuff like, you know, the first one where it's like orcs. Lots of orcs. And, you know, stuff that associates with orcs, I guess. Fire him somewhere. Looks like we got Fearscape mobs too in here. Uh, unique, a snow, a snow giant boulder thrower. 
and a Grand Summoner. Those guys are both dangerous on their own. Together, it'll be really dangerous. Let's do this. Stun you. Step here. He's yeah, still now golem on me, but Death Dance. Uh, I took a stunning hit apparently or something. Maybe from him. I actually don't want to kill the Zorn. Because if I go unstoppable, killing him will give me health back, right? So. I, uh. No, you have to go after him the other way. I will just kill this, and this, and this. Rush him, stun him. He doesn't need an unstoppable, right? And it looks like a portal appears because I killed the unique again of this area. And interesting little thing here amulet. Gives me spell save, mental save, light radius, physical save, crit multiplier, change resistances, gives me uh, lots of cunning and con. I'm looking for a good amulet, right? So maybe I'll keep it. There's other stuff. Oh, look at that. There's a mana regenerating item. So this will let me regenerate mana, I guess. Let's see. So I got, like, you know, full mana now. But if I ever get to this situation where premonition's off and I can't get any more mana, maybe that'll be useful to bring it back. Wow, that's some lost stuff. Well, that's it for here, I guess. This is gonna tell me there's like, you know, in their exit somewhere. So sometimes far pearls could be bigger, or these far pearl areas could be bigger, small, I guess. Sometimes like, you know, a vast area to explore, or sometimes it's very little. Maybe we'll do one more exploratory far pearl. So the fort does not have enough energy um, to power a trip through the pearl. So you only get so many trips, I guess, to it. That's good to know too. So, at this point, I have to go face the master. There's no um, getting around it. Um, I guess I'm set up for him with all my power and might. This is the ultimate battle of ultimate destiny, so to speak. For me, at least. Lush forest? What's this mean? Suddenly comes back to you. You remember long ago somebody told you about a strange lush forest in the cold icy wastes of Northland. Interesting. Does that mean that there's a place for me to explore? Hmm. The lush forest or whatever in that wireness. Never had this happen before. What's in here? Slug's nest. Hmm. I, uh. I think we'll be finding a bunch of ooze in here. Maybe I'll come back to see what this is all about after I check the wiki on it. So, we've done enough for this episode with the Fire Pearls. Hope you enjoyed so far.